Once in a serene and distant village, there lived a young woman named Aya. Despite her gentle and compassionate nature, Aya was plagued by a constant sense of anxiety that kept her from experiencing true happiness. Every step she took, every decision she made was clouded by worries of the past and fears of the future. This anxiety had become a wall that prevented her from truly embracing the present moment. One day, a renowned Zen master known as Master Jin arrived in the village. He exuded an aura of peace and understanding, and people traveled from far and wide to seek his guidance. Upon hearing of his arrival, Aya couldn't resist the opportunity to find a way to overcome her anxiety. She decided to seek an audience with the wise Zen master. Finding Master Jin sitting under a blossoming cherry tree, Aya hesitated before approaching him. With a gentle smile, he beckoned her to sit beside him. Welcome, young one. What brings you to me? He asked in a soothing voice. Tears welled up in Aya's eyes as she poured her heart out, sharing her struggles with anxiety and the toll it had taken on her life. Master Jin listened attentively, nodding his head occasionally as if understanding her pain deeply. After Aya had finished expressing herself, the Zen master spoke. Anxiety is like a dark cloud that obscures the brilliance of the sun. However, like the passing clouds, it too can be dispelled. Intrigued by his words, Aya asked, Master, how can I overcome this anxiety that seems to grip my heart so tightly? Master Jin replied, Anxiety arises from the attachment to the past and the fear of the future. You must learn to anchor yourself in the present for it is the only moment that truly exists. He continued, Let us take a walk together. Focus your attention on each step you take. Feel the earth beneath your feet, the soft caress of the grass. Notice the sweet fragrance of the flowers and the gentle breeze against your skin. Be here now with me. As they walked side by side, Aya found herself becoming more aware of her surroundings. With each step, she felt a sense of grounding and connection with the present moment. The weight of her anxiety began to ease, and for the first time in a long while, she felt a glimmer of peace within. Master Jin, this is incredible, Aya said, her voice filled with wonder. I feel lighter, as if a burden has been lifted from my heart. The Zen master smiled warmly and said, The present moment is a gift, and it holds the power to free you from the grip of anxiety. Embrace it with open arms, and you will find that you are capable of overcoming any obstacle that life presents. From that day forward, Aya devoted herself to the practice of mindfulness and living in the present moment. With each passing day, her anxiety diminished, and she blossomed into a more vibrant and joyful person. She learned to embrace uncertainty with grace and face challenges with a newfound sense of resilience. People in the village noticed the transformation in Aya and sought her advice on dealing with their own struggles. She became a source of inspiration and support, guiding others to overcome anxiety with the wisdom she had learned from Master Jin. And so the village became a place of healing and tranquility, all thanks to the profound wisdom of the Zen master and the determination of a young woman who had found peace amidst her inner storms. The story conveys the profound wisdom of living in the present moment to conquer anxiety. Aya's struggles with anxiety represent the human tendency to be weighed down by worries of the past and fears of the future. Through the guidance of the Zen master, Master Jin, Aya learns the transformative power of mindfulness and presence. The story teaches us that the key to overcoming anxiety lies in anchoring ourselves in the present. By becoming fully aware of the here and now, we can release the burden of past regrets and future uncertainties. This practice of mindfulness allows us to find peace within ourselves, opening up space for resilience, joy, and personal growth. Furthermore, the story emphasizes the importance of seeking guidance and support when facing inner challenges. Just as Aya found solace in Master Jin's wisdom, it reminds us that sharing our struggles with a compassionate mentor or friend can lead to profound insights and transformation. In essence, the Lotus Path encourages us to embrace the beauty of the present moment, for it is the only reality we truly have. By doing so, we can transcend anxiety and find the strength to bloom like a lotus, even amidst the muddy waters of life.